person on the screen right now is Michaela, and she's exposing this situation, but her ex's name is Laura Najem. And they had, before anything, this girl here, Michaela, and Laura had a little couples channel. They were very young, but they, you know, they were dating and they started this little channel and they got, they found success from it because they wanted more views and they wanted more success and it wasn't enough right what they had wasn't enough they decided to bring in a third person but it was all supposed to be just for clicks and views it wasn't supposed to be legitimate or anything real it was just for clicks and views and so basically they were lying to their audience saying like it's this love triangle but in reality it wasn't supposed to be in reality it was all fake okay and that's what Michaela is saying here however during the process obviously um things took a turn for the worst and Laura and this third person Narali started really you know seeing each other and Michaela left the situation she said it got too toxic too crazy whatever and she went her she went her way she's now with this this girl here Dre who is really good to her and very wholesome very authentic right but the other channel the Najem family it is now Laura and the Raleigh Najem the girl the third party in this situation and they have literally grew their channel off of fake content and they have made jokes out of very serious things that people actually go through it's very triggering for a lot of people they've made jokes about narcissism they've made jokes about abuse they had a child via the ivf process and they use that child in their videos as content and as somewhat of a just use this sweet poor little baby as a pawn in my opinion allegedly that is what they have done the baby is only five months old and now Narali is going through the IVF process again to have a second child a lot of it is fake so who knows what's real there are real aspects of it like I said before but a lot of it's fake obviously as well but throughout this whole process there's been a lot of alleged cheating happening other girls in the picture they did a whole thing acting as if <sighs> Narali was having a mental breakdown and filmed that as entertainment, um, they filmed her, Laura's family trying to get Narali to sent off and committed and trying to play off, oh, Halloween time, she played into it so bad, acting as if she was crazy and all this stuff. It was all lying. I was being told that I was everything and more to her, that I was her soulmate and that she finally was in a place of happiness and that I meant everything to her when in reality she had about three girlfriends and was just sitting there telling lie after lie after lie and I believed it she's nowhere near my type she's annoying she talks too much she bothers me 25 8 she thinks she knows everything she has no personality she doesn't know when to stop she's ugly with no lashes and makeup she probably has a body count of 50 or more. She isn't gay, but she says she is. She argues all day and gives me headaches. Um, main of all, she can never be you. That's what was said. Y'all, I'm sorry, but I could not ever be with someone who talked about me in that way. That is so disrespectful. And Laura did things like that all the time back in that time when all of that was happening. She would dog the crap out of Narali. She would dog the crap out of Michaela. But guess what? Michaela left because she knows her self worth. And Narali was like the views and the money and the fame and all the things that she got from being on that channel and being with Laura was enough to put herself self-worth aside all of this can be gone tomorrow uh, tomorrow uh, we're not prom number one we're not promised tomorrow number two people can decide they don't like you for for very little reason and leave and what they're doing with the fake content and all the craziness it is probably more opt to happen to a channel like that who is based off of fakeness but yet they're trying to sit there and say how real and genuine they are and all this you know all that smack in reality, they're, they're fake AF. Again, so fake. I just couldn't imagine 
setting my self-worth aside and being willing to let another person downgrade me, talk to me like a freaking dog. Cause we have seen Nirali be talked to like a freaking dog by Laura. And she just sits there and takes it. Why every time y'all are somewhere, I was there. If y'all were so together, like I just so happen to be in San Antonio at the same time as y'all come on now. Like you just gotta, you just gotta make it make sense if we're being real, but for you to just act like I'm just nothing, like, and just take everything from me, just snatch it from under my feet. Like, really. Less than nothing. She ain't, you need to make sure you ain't have nothing. Everything was in both of our names, like, everything, from the YouTube channel to everything. So, she ends up taking everything from me, y'all. Her and, and Laura were really good friends before they ever started dating they went to school together they were friends she Michaela was with Laura before Laura ever even like came up like she said before she ever even came up she knew Laura on a level that nobody else did so for that girl to do her like that and take a hundred thousand dollars out of their bank account are you kidding me that's something worth being upset about I never had to leave that apartment I never had to walk away from everything I never had to give her the YouTube channel I never had to do any of that I was doing it off the strength of you do you you just not want to be around or nothing. yeah it. like I was just much. over it I just wanted my money so I could start fresh she made me have another bump in my road another hiccup more stress like it was, y'all, I literally had $200, $200. I felt like I was just betrayed and I felt like kicked on and bullied at that moment because like, you just let me, you just left me in a drought for real. Like I would never, even to this day, if it, it could be my worst enemy. And if I knew that they needed something from, like I'm, I'm gonna put my hand out to it. Like, and for you to claim like at this time you were so godly and so this and so that, that's not how you do people. That's another thing that really upsets me about these women. They will sit there and pray before their videos. They will sit there and talk about how they got all of this, that God gave them this, how blessed they are, how blessed they are. And then turn around and do the most ungodly things you can imagine. I'm not going to be this fucking third okay, person. Okay, okay. Let's say a prayer. I'm going to say a prayer. Everybody close their eyes. Father God, I'd like to say thank you for everything. I pray that you continue to protect us and keep us safe. And I know with you, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. So first Amen. off, y'all, let me just, just hold on. First off, I want to say so the reason why we're fight? together. No, just hold on. Do you want to fight? Mocking re people's religion. Like, believe whatever you want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Believe in God. Don't believe in God. That is your prerogative. But if you're going to sit there and say that you are a godly person and you're going to pray before your videos and you're going to do all this and that and, and try to like give people all this advice and do all this. And then you're going to turn around and be that kind of a person. Are you kidding me? That is another thing that's very triggering about this situation and always upset me because I've, like I've said before, I'm not a religious person, but I am definitely faith based. I have a lot of faith in God. Um, I'm not, I don't go to church. I don't any of that, but I try to live my life right. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Nobody is, but I try. I show respect. I try to give kindness to people. I understand people go through things that I'm not aware of and don't know the situation. I try not to judge too harshly. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, but I, I try to treat people the way I would want to be treated, period, point blank. So to see people use God in the way that these two women do and then turn around and talk to everybody like crap, treat everybody like crap, be so abusive, mock such serious topics and such like they don't even care about their audience. I have had so many of their supporters leave comments under my videos about them saying, you know, I, I loved watching them. I thought they were funny. I thought, I thought the content was entertaining, but when they made fun of domestic violence and made a mockery of domestic violence, that triggered me because I'm a survivor of DV. You don't do that. Who does that?